Welcome back. We're going to go through how to build a waterfall chart using the native Excel functionality as opposed to Macabacus, just so one's equipped if they don't use the plugin. However, this chart does come with some limitations. For one, it won't allow you to export to PowerPoint or Word. And these native Excel charts, which were introduced in 2016, are a little bit error prone for the waterfall chart specifically, but let's go through it. So our data is down below here. It's the same data that we had before, but one thing with the native functionality is the subtotal, so the middle and the ending periods do have to be labeled as totals explicitly for the chart to work. So let's go ahead and set this up. Just select your data. Then we're gonna go up into insert and go into recommended charts and under all charts, We'll see waterfall down here, and there's our little preview of what it'll look like. We can see that we have no settings that we can set up off the bat that Excel will remember. So we have to go ahead, create the chart, and go ahead and manually have to make all of our adjustments, which is, of course, a lot more time consuming. But first, let's go ahead and do the sizing. So we just selected one of these adjusters here. We're holding Alt on our keyboard so that everything snaps in with the grid lines. We'll just show you this. So we'll turn grid lines on using Control Alt G on our keyboards. And then we hold Alt. We can do it downwards as well. We can see it just snapping into place, which is really cool because we're getting very precise sizing on our chart and it's not coming in in between cells. It's just snapping into place with the grid line. So we can turn grid lines off with the same keyboard shortcut, Control Alt G. And let's now address this chart. So we already have a title, of course, so we can take that out immediately. We know that these blue bars from this legend are positive, and then the orange is negative. So we can delete out this legend. It's a bit redundant. And now we're kind of looking sort of similar to how our Macabacus chart looked when it was exported, but let's make some further changes. Let's take out the grid lines by selecting them and pressing delete. Let's take out our y-axis because we have data labels for everything. And we can see that our subtotals here aren't full bars, which is a bit confusing. They actually look like adjustments. So what we can do is we can select the single bar, right click it, and then press set as total. So we need to call it out as a total specifically. And we can do that same thing over here by selecting just that bar and pressing set as total. And now we're looking better. We can see that we have these bridge lines, which Macabacus also has, but we left that setting off when we created our waterfall chart using Macabacus. They're useful to see how things join up in between the bars, but one can easily take them out or even reformat them, but we prefer to take them out, at least in this case, so we can select them right-clicking, going Format Data Series. Then we can just untick Show Connector Lines, and those are now gone. And now let's address the border around the chart. This is really easy to take out. We can right-click the chart, go Format Chart Area, and take off the border here. See all these manual adjustments we're making? These aren't required with Macabacus. It remembers your last save settings. It will bring in the proper colors of your bars, and you won't have to do all of this, but we're almost there. Um, let's revise the font on this chart. I believe it's coming in as Calibri, but we like to use Open Sans here at CFI. And we could also make all of our data labels have a black font so they stick out a little bit more. And let's now address the actual colors of these bars. So we can see that they're not in compliance with our brand here. So let's fix that up. It's a bit of a manual process, but let's go ahead here. So what we actually have to do with these is select them all one by one, right click them, and then go format data point, and then change the fill color. And then one can always put in their own RGB code. So we're gonna do that one by one and join us in just a second here. And there we go. If you've went ahead and did that on your own, you can see that it's quite tedious. And this is really where Macabacus is advantageous. And we just have another quick step here. We need to revise our data labels down here to say middle and end, just so that our chart is nice and clear to the end user. 
And to conclude, we can see how the Macabicus functionality is definitely superior. It makes your process of building charts a lot more efficient and avoids all these little tweaks that we have to do. It's overall just a lot faster to utilize Macabicus, but we hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a waterfall chart by using native Excel. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.